Hi, I'm here again for another edition of Book Review. I remember the Kenny Jayamatsu. Today is another interesting edition. I'm here to review another book, and that book is Seven Leads to Prosperity. Seven Leads to Prosperity. This book is written by the Rev. Christian. It's a 10 chapter book. It's also among his newest books. Okay, today I'm going to give you a summary of this book as usual after which i advise you get a copy for yourself and read it very well okay so don't go anywhere why i review this book vision is the answer to poverty shame and misery when the lives of men are saved they prosper things around them vision is having clear understanding of what the future holds for us people are subjected to lack and poverty when visionlessness makes them vulnerable when satan wanted to swindle jesus out of the messianic path clarity of vision preserved him joseph was not only used to save the lives of his brethren he was also used to prosper the house of Potiphar. okay the greatest achievement of vision is to produce immortality from men and lives that are immortalized by vision will not be stolen by the devil now god does not take responsibility for the prosperity of men rather god prospers our lives through what took it because man is the guardian angel of his destiny what he is becoming is far more important than what he desires to have whether we prosper or not depends on what we live for and how we live getting things is not as important as preserving them it is wrong to expose men to a prosperous life before vision gets them ready for it prosperity and abundance are designed to save lives so your life must be saved by vision before you can prosper it is wrong for those who abandon themselves to desire prosperity our ability to pay quality attention to ourselves is what determines our prosperity our first approach to prosperity is to enjoy the salvation of our lives we should be more interested in the harvest of our lives than in any other thing god will not withhold gold for men who vision has made golden there is no value that is superior to the lives of men when god wants to prosper men he shares his divine life with them through vision so the spirit of vision represents god in the lives of men the principal accomplishment of vision is to give men charge over themselves and the worst thing that can happen to any man is for the man to lose charge over himself now adam couldn't keep and dress the garden of eden after he lost charge over himself and death took over him now, the best and most powerful people on earth are those who are gleaned by vision and whatever god will depend on to bless man must be gleaned from the man joseph was brought to the throne of egypt as a prime minister because vision harvested him jesus is sitting on the heavenly throne as the resurrected messiah because the visionary christ gleaned him why the mechanism of the serving servant was accomplished through the human value that the visionary Christ harvested from Jesus, the mechanism of the sovereign king will be accomplished through what the visionary spirit of the ancient of days will glean from the third Adam. Now, great battles are won on earth by men who are intelligently and thoroughly gleaned by vision. Why spirits are preserved by spiritual values, men are preserved by their human values. Vision has awesome preservative power. Satan subjects men to poverty by subtracting from them continuously. Continuous subtraction leads to losses. Except there is clarity of vision, wastage can't be avoided. Whatever is in the hand of a visionless man will definitely finish. To be visionless is the worst form of poverty. Someone who keeps losing things because of visionlessness we eventually end in poverty but vision introduces men to prosperity when men don't know what to live for they live for anything living for anything that shows up is a sign that the life is lost wasted and losses are tamed 
wherever the Shalani men are found. The house of Potiphar prospered because Joseph, the dreamer, closed door against wastage and losses. The quality of men around us we always determine whether we will prosper or not. Now, the reason the economic value of African nations is depreciating is because of the visionlessness of African leaders. It is not possible to separate leaders from what happens to their country. Leaders represent their country. When a leader doesn't have a clear vision, the nation he is leading will be ruined. God will always improve the destinies of nations through visionary leaders. Visionary leaders are great blessings to all nations. It is only a man that is saved by vision that can save things, and saving leads to prosperity. Poverty is not about lacking things, it is a state of visionlessness. Now, a man that doesn't know what to live for will never know how to live. Whatever a visionless man has, we finish, including his life. If we desire to end poverty in our lives, we must make deliberate effort to harvest the divine deposits of God in us. When men pay quality attention to themselves, God will be compelled to see to the prosperity of anyone who has a discipline to keep what he has. If we keep what we have, God will give us more. The earth prospers as men improve their human values. Improving our human values is the greatest form of prosperity. Now, each time God wants to improve the destiny of the earth, he raises men of unique values. Man is the greatest asset of God on earth. God relates with the earth through men. So how God, how close God is to the earth is determined by the values of men. Having money is not as important as being valuable. Being transformed by the word of God opens the door of prosperity to men. It is not possible for anyone who is transformed by the light of God's word to be separated from the treasures of darkness. Because the treasures of darkness will be made available to any man who has the light to harvest them. Finally, Money has perishable destiny and as such should not take the values of men. We must not invest our lives into looking for money. Instead, we should invest it in improving our values. It is a great evil to invest a rich life in a cheap way. If God is with you, there are places you must not go to. There are people you must not fellowship with. There are things you must not buy. Vision inspires saving. Those who are sure of what they are saying must not allow the angel of vanity to distract them because the spirit of vanity mocks the divinity of men. Those who live for money can control it. Whatever we live for is better than us and it is what we take destiny from. If you want to be rich, you must produce a value that is superior to what money can attract. Thank you so much and that is all for today. Thank you for listening and thank you for being part of this edition. Remember to get a copy for yourself at Shekinah Bookshop, located at Locust Army International Hepatite Church at the road, Aja, Lagos, Nigeria. You can also visit the website www.shekinahmediahouse.com to get the soft copy. Thank you once again for being part of this edition. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share this video. I will see you again in my next edition with another interesting topic. Thank you. Bye.